Hello and welcome to Let's Play Octopath Traveler 1. So, next, my goal is to head over to our final character, Hanit. Which means we have to head south-ish. Find a treasure! And another treasure! Let us fight with honor! My turn. Alright, so... You don't have any hit everybody. Keep it up. Everybody's fucking out of MP and stuff. I will cut you down! Oh, okay. Well then. That was pathetic. And that's that. Plum. Delicious plum. Swapping. Oh, I need to do that at like an end or some shit, don't I? Uh, does anybody have. Yep, yeah, let's, let's give you. Revive. Persistence is your second skill. Which, all status enhances your receive will. Ooh, that's really good. Which I have been debating on. about just taking these and dropping them all onto Therian since he's locked in my party and will just basically always be a benefit for the entire Yeah, I am gonna fucking do that, so... Except for Magic Nut. Magic Nut is a bad idea. SP is not... That's also a bad idea. Let's give that to Bear. Oh, it's like three. It's maximum HP. There. I don't have to worry about it. I'll get the most benefit because Theron, or Therion is always going to be present. Uh, what do we have here? Horfrost Grotto. I do want to explore this. No, we must get the other person first. North Sawarki Trail.
Why does it look weird? It's like this fish eye effect. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? Settle these nuts. Now, what next? Ugh! Over here! <laughs> these skills. I appreciate it. Really? It's an SP is not that much. How about you? Doesn't matter though. Maybe it does matter. I'll do my best. Huh. I'll not be defeated. May the sacred flame shine forth. I appreciate it. Really? How about you? Over here! Ah, you get shit. I appreciate it. I didn't realize you hit twice with that. That's that. Hey, you're working a little. Way. I think the town is down, right? Yeah. All right, let's rob these bitches. Alright, try it again. Provoke like a pro. That is the hunter skill. Yes. 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 Well, I may as well go fucking ham now, since. Got it. Uh, soldier's longbow is pretty neat looking. I think the cell it seems to be. Whoa, wait a minute. I do have some stuff. I should have a fair amount of stuff. Most of the stuff is not that difficult to take. I'm going to heavily lean on the fact that the Pragasterion is absolutely my strongest, or strongest level of character. Hey, I got it right off the bat. Inspired Plum. And we got you. Can't challenge, huh? Sixteen percent chance to fail, and I fucking nail on it. Just kind of thing. Good night. What a magical inclined item. Oh no! Well, rip. I can't do anything with that. Alright. Hello, Hunnet. I understand it not. For what reason would such a beast come to our woods? Does this herald some greater ill that comes our way? 
Her name is Hanit, and she is a hunter, one of the last descendants of her proud and ancient clan. She makes her home here in Sawarki, deep in the dark wood. This seasoned huntress roams the forest with Lin, her fast friend, though her mind often turns to her master who left the village one year ago on a dangerous hunt for which he has yet to return. When a local noble came seeking aid, she answered the call and was tasked with hunting a vicious beast that plagues the nearby forests. And so she makes for the Whisperwood with her loyal companion Lind at her side. She will need fierce allies on the path she has chosen. Yes. Uh, so Hanit, you're swapped out for Ophelia. Yep. Oh shit, one year ago. Good. Thou hast yet to depart. Waylaid by sentiment, my girl. It did ill behoove me to leave without bidding my favorite prentice a fare thee well. A joke, as always. Will thy journey be long, Master? A good question, that. The request cometh from none other than the Knights Ardant. The hunt will take us to distant lands, and the beast we pursue in is a fearsome one. I see. Ha ha ha! Look and not so glum, girl! I'm no Tyro with green arrows and bruises on his bow arm. No smile? What is it, my girl? Tis not the hunt that concerneth me. Thou intendest to stop and off somewhere along the way. Oh, here and there, mayhap. Why dost thou ask? Thou forgettest, or feignst ignorance, so I will remind thee. On the last hunt, thou gambledest away thy purse, and came back a poorer man than thou left. Poor in coin, mayhap. Yes, I did make a few wagers at the arena in Victor's Hollow. And learned that while I have a keen eye for assessing the strength of beasts, to the boss with men, a valuable lesson that was cheaply bought. Not so cheap in the end. Eliza had to pay him thy debts, and thou only finished its paying her back this last month. Promise me, Master, no more foolish gambling. What of the old hunters saying? If the first arrow faileth, knock a second and try again. <sighs> Thou just madest that one up. Come now, girl. Thou art too young by half for such world weary sighs. Must thou makest our parting so gloomy? I turn to thee, Hagen. Looking after Master, for he can rarely be bothered to looking after himself. <laughs> Even thou takest her side against me, old friend? He knoweth good sense when he heareth it. <laughs> Growlest thou not at me, thou faithless turncoat? Hail, Hanit. Have you come to see us off? I have come in to warn Master about straying from the path. And I thank you for it. I do not have the leaves to pay another debt like that. Have I not a 
single ally in this infernal village? I am your friend, but I am also a Knight Ardant, and your client. You would do well not to forget this. Not for a moment, most honorable Lady Eliza of the illustrious Knights Ardant. <laughs> That's more like it. Fear not. I'll keep him out of trouble. I'll have him fill his evenings penning a detailed account of our adventures on the hunt. Taken care, and may thine arrows strike true. I shall look after the forest till the day of thy return. Thank thee, my girl, and farewell. A year hath passed since that day. In all that time, Master could only be bothered to send in a single letter. Harnet, tis me thou revered Master. Missest me? I won't bore thee with any blather about the weather or the season. Who knoweth when this will even arrive, after all? For three months now, I have pursued the trail of the beast sought me by the Knights Ardant. A beast by the name of Red Eye. That's their name for it, leastwise. As for its true name, if it even hath one, none can say. But on my father's bow, I swear, tis the most vexing quarry I've ever had the misfortune to hunt in. It eludeth mine every trap, and, though thou may think me mad for saying this, I swear it can even sense every move I make. I know not if it is human intelligence or pure animal instinct, but either way, it refuseth to be caught. Still, we appear to have annoyed it sufficiently that it is moving on to new pastures. Judging from its behavior, I believe it meaneth to make for the lands around Stoneguard. I will be frank with thee, my girl, for thou hast always been able to see through my pretenses. The chase will be hard, and the hunt will not end soon. But fear not, for endeth it shall, as thou ever knowest your master to fail him in a hunt. And so I ask thee, my dear apprentice, pray look after the village until I return. Oh, and be not a worry, Wart. Always thy friend and teacher, Zanta. Never heard master admitteth that any hunt would be difficult. Either this red eye is truly the most formidable of beasts, or he stoppeth in every gambler's den from here to Stoneguard. But no, Master liketh to act in the fool, but when it cometh to hunting, if he saith he will catcheth his quarry, then catcheth it. Master entrusted the safety of the village to me. My duty now is to the villagers. Come in. Let us visit in the headman and see if anyone hath need of my bow. All right, let's speak with the headman. That's a doggy. I am Hunnit. Headman, how might my bow serve thee today? Hello! Every day thou comest here seeking work, sometimes I wonder if thou art truly thy master's prentice. But just an aside, no, there is no hunt today. I see. Is there aught else I might do? Hmm. Oh, 
The Yakshas always in need of lessons. Thou couldn't give us them a lesson or two in bowmanship. The clan of Darkwood inherited the lore of beasts and trees. Yet today only thou and Zent can truly use that lore. Why, when I was a mere struggling. <laughs> yes, yes, I have heard your stories before, and I know how long they are. <laughs> long would it tell to the vice of many an old man. My apologies, child. But if thou couldst show us the youngsters the way of the hunt, I would be grateful. I'm asking ye. I saw two of them waiting eagerly in the square. Perhaps thou couldst start with them. Yes. It will be done. Path action can provoke people into battle. All right. Okay. Go forth, my friend. Training time is it? I'm ever ready. Let us begin. I have surprised my foe. What next? And a young forest fox, mossy meat. Get him. <laughs> Coming, if thou dare. The hunt ends. Ugh. Now then. Thou growest adept at fighting. So. But thou must be more cautious than ever, for thou knowest just enough to get thyself into trouble. Oh. I will thank ye, thank, thank ye the Hobbit. Now, let us hunt him. I have surprised my foe yet Coming, again. If thou darest. Uh, as that. <laughs> Coming, if Not what I wanted, but whatever. Coming, this is what I wanted. Thou didst fight his courage. Well, dost thou feel us more attuned to thy surroundings? Uh, yep. Yes, I feel much more able to anticipate where Swift Quarry might dart his neck. Excellent. Very good. An important lesson, that. Hello there! That was a different voice. Hunter's Taunus. Hmm? What is it? Um, well... The headman sent really? me to find me. He said he must speak with thee right away. Understood. Then take me, then I will make haste. He, he is at home, I take it? That's right! Hmm. An urgent hunt, mayhap. Greetings. Headman, you wish to see me? Hmm. Yes, the request hath come in from the demence of Lord Siron. Siran? Siran. Siran. It would seem a beast hath strayed into his provincial forest. Provincial forest. See. And he will it gone. Hmm. Just so, he asks us for our best hunter. And while Master Zen is off the hunt, that meaneth me. Hmm. Understood. I'm asking you. Always remember, Hanit, since time or ours has been a village of great hunters and huntresses. Yes, far and wide beyond the edges of the Darkwood, our home. Hmm. The bard singeth of our exploits, and all the realm lauded fair Swark as the home of the true hunter. Is that not how it went? Be good. Oh, have I told it that many times? Long-winded tales, my dear. <laughs> Are the vice of old men, yes. As for the hunt, I am ready whenever needed. Or when needed. Splendid! Excellent. Lord Siren's messenger awaiteth inside. He will tell thee all he needs to know. I am ready. I will speak to him at once. I'm asking ye. 
Oh my god, I'm tired of reading this old English shit. On it, pry thee doth not, master, zant would thee not. I don't know what the fuck that means. Fair be fallen. Of course, thank ye. Oh, yeah, I know what it means. Well met. My apologies for the urgency of the matter, but monsters pay little heed to the convenience of men. Nay. I am here to serve, telling me more of this beast. Eh. The core is to be a fearsome beast that has wandered into the Whisperwood for the gods know where. Mm. A monster that hath strayed from its home. Yes. I, just this morning, merchant and an injured companion fetched up at our manor in the frightful shape. As one man told it, the other was in no condition to speak. Their caravan had been waylaid by the beast, and they were the only survivors. This bodeth ill. How dost thou know if this creature was responsible? Well, actually... Lord Sir and Scholar were called upon to investigate the matter. From the merchant's testimony, they concluded the men were attacked by a savage beast known as a Isarma. Truly? I have heard of this creature. Its baleful roar would make it an unlikely fit for the tranquil Whisperwood. His lordship is most anxious to protect his subjects, needless to say. He seeks the help of the most capable hunter in this village, and so, it, Master Zana, Zanta's absence, we turn to you. What say you, Hanit? Will you free our fair province of this unholy menace? I am ready. Tell my lord that I shan't fail thee. Indeed. There is a dignity about you that Master Zanta lacks, but I see you share his passion for your calling. I hope you will continue to inherit only his better qualities. <laughs> Master is a fine teacher. He showeth by example both what a hunter oughteth and oughteth not to do. <laughs> <laughs> ha, well said. It would seem we are in safe hands indeed. Mm. Yes, thou art. And so I must, so I must do my duty and hunt the beast. Thine offer is a generous one, yet the path ahead is fraught with danger. How curious. Linda judge thee worthy. It is not often she warmeth to strangers. I shall accept in thine offer, lend in thee thy strength in battle. The monster hath been sighted in the Whisperwood. It is where there we must go. Oh, thank goodness all that fucking bullshit is done reading. And my... It's restored! Alright, back to robbing these motherfuckers. Who was it? Was that you? Was it you? You're a new one to rob. Thanks, sir. A hidden item. Why, thank you, sir. Who you are? Not you. Go down the stairs, please. an exclamation point. Let Provoke is kind of a, another means to knock people out when um, Obear is unable to partake in the battle for whatever reason. Come. Yeah. Out of the way, fool! Thou didst fight his If we have one. Hey, I'll take like that. A thousand bucks. Oh, good, I can steal from this child. And I got a stone bow. Give me your shit. You little bastard. Who does number two work for? Alright, this gets about to make the cut. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.